Hey guys, this is Red and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. As you can see behind me there's a black square, but that is not a normal black square, that is a door and actually it's not even a normal door, it's a working automatic sliding door. So let me show you guys how it works. Let me go in F5 mode so you can see my character and if I get close to those doors, of course they will open with a really nice animation if I go far from them. Um, let's say that the sensor detects it and of course the doors will close again. So imagine in how many cases you can use this uh, sliding door. Uh, in the back you can see the sticks that are holding the banners because of course I have used, if you're wondering, I've used some invisible armor stands that are wearing some banners. Well, you can see them here. They are wearing some black banners on their heads. And of course they are teleported in different position uh, depending on the position of the player and um, you can add this command creation to many parts of maps or I don't know you can even add these into your survival world and uh, as an example you can use these sliding doors as an entrance for a shop or uh, as an entrance for a lift or elevator for you guys watching from the United States and uh, yeah there are so many places where you can add this command creation and uh, of course it is powered by command blocks we have the first line here that is used to create to generate the various armor stands and the second line of command blocks here is the actual line that makes the whole thing work now there's a problem though with this command creation and the problem is caused by how Minecraft reduces work and sadly I don't think that there's a way to fix it and the problem that happens is that if a player goes in the area where the door the doors open and close and if they freak out this mechanism of course everything will be screwed up and well this is what happens the doors will be will not be at their place when the player gets far from them. So this is the only problem that sadly we have with this creation. But anyways, uh, overall it works really fine. You have this really nice animation and if players go normally through this door, everything should work fine and you shouldn't have any problems. Just don't do this because of course the whole system will be screwed up and look at what's happening. Uh, right, so now let me kill this armor sense and let me generate the whole thing so you guys can see how I did it. Uh huh. Let me use the slash kill command, kill one. Then let me kill the other ones and door two because there is door one which are four armor stands that will move uh, towards the direction and the armor stand named door two will move to towards the other direction. Once you build an entrance like this, like I'm doing, you don't necessarily need to place uh, slabs up here. I did it because well, I think that it looks nicer and uh, make sure uh, that you're facing the same direction as I am facing. So now I'm facing south. If you don't want to have any problems with uh, armor sand rotations and everything, just build this gate, this entrance, this door while you're facing south. What you do, you place a command block here in the middle, then take a button because of course we will need to power this command block. And what we need to do, you copy all the commands that you will find in the video description. So there's a link which will, oh, actually I have to deactivate the line of command blocks for a moment. Uh, okay, so what you do, you go in the video description, there's a link that will bring you to my website where you can find all the commands that I'm using in this video. So you take the first one from the list, you paste it inside, activate the command block, then you take the second one and so on. You paste all the eight commands in this command block and of course activate it every time. Right, that was the last one. So now if I remove the command block, of course we will have something like that. Um, as you can see there are four armor stands down here, another four armor stands up here inside the wall. They should be somewhere here. Why I can't find them? Oh no, they're, they're all here but you can't see them. Oh, that's strange, you can't see them even Okay, I think that I found a bug. Anyways, we have eight armor stands. The four armor stands are at the left are named AS Door 1, and the four armor stands here in the right hand side are named AS Door 2. Also, there is this exact armor stand here that has a custom tag, and I gave it a tag named Timer only to that one. Now, you will have to set this line of coin blocks to make, of course, the thing work. And uh, you can pause the video, build the line of coin blocks that is similar to mine, and then you can come back, hit play, and listen me explaining all the commands that are inside these command blocks. Right, in the command block here, so make sure that the command block here at the bottom is set on repeat, unconditional, and 
always active well i'm going to activate it just now and these other command blocks here are set on chain unconditional and always active in the first command block here we have an execute command which executes for the armor stand which has a tag timer so you remember that we gave the tag timer to that armor stand down there so we are detecting for that armor stand then we are checking if there are players in a radius of five blocks from that exact armor stand if there is a player in a radius of five blocks we are going to give another tag to that armor stand uh, which is named open so if there is a player near the armor stand with the tag timer we give to that armor stand another tag named open the second command block here checks again when there is a player in a radius of 5 blocks from that armor stand and is going to remove to that armor stand the tag close if it has it. Uh, now uh, I'm going to come to this command block here in just a moment. Uh, right, so in the third command block here there's a command that will increase the score of that armor stand with the tag open by one each and every game tick. Now actually I have to create this scoreboard objective because we will need it so you go, uh, of course, on my website, you will find this command, you copy it in, and you paste it in the chat, press enter and you'll create this scoreboard objective. Then this command block here is going to increase the score of all armor stands with the, the tag open to that on that scoreboard objective. Well, since this command block here is going to constantly increase the score of those armor stands, uh, we don't want this score to go up infinitely. That's why on the fourth command block I added another command that basically sets a score of 1 to all armor stands that have a score of minimum 11. So basically when the score reaches 11 it goes down to 10 again and it doesn't go up infinitely. Then in this command block here we have another execute command which executes again for that armor stand down here and uh, this time we are executing for players that are in a radius between 5 blocks and 6 blocks. Basically this is a command block that detects when a player gets far from the door. And if the player gets far from the door, we are this time going to add the tag close. And that's why we come now back to the second command block. When the player gets inside the radius of 5, this tag close gets removed because of course we want the doors to open. Okay, right, so after we add this tag to all the players in a radius between 5 and 6, we have another execute command that checks when there are players in a radius between 5 and 6 blocks from that armor stand, and we are going this time to remove the tag open, because of course we want the doors to close. Then, uh, this command block here is going to remove to all armor stand with a tag close a score of 1 on the door scoreboard objective. So you remember that scoreboard objective that was constantly increased when the doors open? Now when the doors close, uh, this command block here is going to decrease that number till it reaches a value of 0. Now this command block here, it checks for all armor stands with the tag open. If they have a score between 1 and 9 on the door scoreboard objective, we are going to teleport them uh, 0.14 blocks towards positive x. So we are going to teleport only armor stands named AS door 1 which are the armor stand on the left hand side so these armor stands here will be teleported in that direction when they have a tag open and of course the uh, other armor stands named AS door 2 are going to be teleported in the opposite side because we want the doors to open then this command block here is going to this time check when a armor stand has the tag closed and when its score is between 1 and 9 we are going this time to do the reverse thing, so we are going to teleport the armor stands on the left hand side towards the right and all the armor stands from the right hand side towards left. Then the last two command blocks here are going to play a sound which is block.piston.contract when the doors open and block.piston.extend when the doors uh, close. And that's pretty much it, so as you can see the sounds are played. Okay, we have the ex we have the contract and the extend sound. And that's it. That's pretty much it about this command creation. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up under this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. As always, I want to thank you all guys for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in my next video. See you. Bye.